viewers and we appreciate you watching today caleb and i are headed out in the peterbilt b100 and the peterbilt kirby grant conversion 30 ton we've got a triaxle dump truck that's uh loaded right now uh, over at one of our local plants he was dumping his load and uh, laid over on its side so what i'm being told we don't have a whole lot of room to work with and um he's about three quarters of the way up so uh, we're going to carry uh red pete and the v100 just in case we don't have can get his truck in there so i'd rather have two trucks on scene and not need it than to have to wait on somebody to bring me the, the right unit but We'll get over here and assess the situation. Like I said, they said it's about three quarters of the way up, so we brought a 55 gallon drum just in case the bed will not collapse and then we can uh, disconnect the hydraulic line and pump it into the truck as we collapse the bed. So that way we don't make too big a mess. Real quick, I'd like to thank Mr. William Robinson uh, he's a viewer of ours, and Mr. Wilbert ended up towing him the other night from a truck stop. His tractor trailer broke down, and Mr. Wilbert had to go out and tow him. Uh, thank you for watching, Mr. William. As y'all might can see in the camera, it's uh, everything down south is blooming now. You can see the honeysuckle and, and all the other trees. They're just yellow. I know. And, uh, I follow Mr. Casey, uh, both Casey's and, and, and their videos, and some of them still got snow up there. So but down south, we're already getting the warm temperatures and everything's blooming and everything. But we appreciate y'all watching. We'll be on scene here in just a little bit. We'll be right back with you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. viewers we're on site uh, trying to make our way to the dump truck now
You got your headset? You got me? Okay. Uh, go ahead and start winching in like you're doing. Just go a little bit at a time and stop. Get that fluid time to push back into the tank. All right, go again. Is it stalling out or is it uh? Just okay. At some point, we're gonna have to re-rig somehow. You still good? If anything, if your truck's doing good, you can uh, boom up a little bit or out a little bit with your boom. Either or. Yeah, that, you got plenty of clearance now. That's good. Oh, oh you're pushing fluid out. Hold on. Come on, like you're going. Hold on, let me readjust the bucket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You what? You'll get that. Okay. How's your truck <laughs> acting? You're dragging the whole truck. Yeah. Come on. A little bit at a time. Hold up. What? Let me, I, I got to adjust the bucket. All right, go a little bit. A little bit at a time, just slower now. Still clear on your snatch block. You, you still got a little bit of clearance. Let me walk up there and check it back off just a touch. Take some pressure off. All right. You got about a foot left. You can still collapse. That's just the pressure on the cylinders. All right, hold up, hold up. My bucket's about full. You don't have a bucket, do you? All right, you got a funnel? You got a cone up there, don't you? All right.
Yes, sir. I'll get that bucket. We like the Marines. We improvise them. A, a cone, a cone for a funnel. I'm sorry I let too much get in there. <laughs> Get that on the bear knives. Alright, you hold my cone because it's not all the way in there. Get up wind from me. Come to this side. snap on from that excavator the other day. <coughs> hey, let's um, re-rig. Well, while we stop, we might as well readjust everything. Cause we're gonna have to come right through here. Are we going up there with it? Yes, sir. All right. I got it. Come up here. Good, I got it with my boots. Yeah, I don't like you under it. All right. All right. Is that snatch block hitting that truck? Not yet. We need to come out. Let's see if we got pressure on our snatch block here. Oh, you mean right there? Yeah. yeah. They get this, I'll get another chain. That way we don't uh, bend that snatch block. Don't be under the snap block. Alright. See what I'm talking about now? Yes, sir. And a thousand dollars a piece. We don't need to bend it. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. And if we're gonna spend that much, let's get a skeleton out. Alright. Good. Alright, all right, you wanna work that? Are you, hey, you watch me, I'll, I'll work, work it. Tell me, if we hit, we hit the bucket with the fluid. Okay. Anyway, we can chain that dump in place. Yeah. yeah. Not right there. It won't, be, it won't be exact. It was right there. 
How about, um, if, we, how about if we wrap the chain from here to here over the top? And tie all three? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we take one. probably take that same chain right there and do it. When I get up, you throw me them up. Yes, sir. Thank you. Caleb fall down. <laughs> yeah, found a gopher hole. All right, hey, why you right there? Right. You catch this between the tires. Yeah. Oh, I see it. One more time. Oh, I can get this one. I can get this one. Are you sure? Yes, sir. It's on the back side. Valve stems on the other side, so I can't go through that tire. Good? You sound like me huffing and puffing. Caleb, before we um flip it, let's find out if, if we got to tow it and if we got to tow it, if we're pulling the drive shaft. It's a whole lot easier where it's sitting. Yep. If I was by myself, I'd probably run a four part. Now you can believe, yeah, all right, if I go ahead and start getting in the front. Yeah, what you gonna do on the front? Rim sling the front rim? Well, it's got steel rims, so I was gonna grab them, uh, them hooks that we use on the trailers. Right. Because the way the drum is, you really can't run a rim sling in between the drum and the rim. Well, if nothing else, we might have to catch the frame. Yes, sir. You thought about that? Grabbing one of them other um, frame chains, like the, the, the new ones we've got. I thought about grabbing it somewhere right in here. Pulling it straight this way. Yeah, you, you can get some downforce even if you pulled on the axle right there. You if can you can't that. look, if you can't loop the uh, 
the top of the rim. If I grab right here, I'll just use the regular chain. Okay. And I don't know if I want to try to catch it because um, it's uphill. And I'll show you a little trick that if you can't catch it, you can we'll do something to slow it down for a minute. You can see what the truck's gonna land uphill, so we are probably a foot below grade. Yeah. Well, when we get it um, halfway over or up an inch or two, I want to uh, snatch that hood together. Hey, I'm gonna do your ID and go back with a three part line. Copy. Yeah. That way we ain't got to re rig. <laughs> is, is that the guy I was talking about is like in his yeah yep Oh yeah, why am I breathing heavy in the phone? Yeah. Be all right. nice. We're both doing plenty of labor. <laughs> That's a good thing about, you know, somebody knowing kind of what you, what you're talking about.
Okay, don't want to say leave your dry chef in. All right. Okay. Hey, you can get some dirt or any of that other dirt right there. Yeah, what? Just right here. That just helps slow the roll down. See if you can chain that axle back to the frame. The front axle. The offset you pulling that way hard. You with me? Yeah, yeah. Just chain back the Yeah, well just chain the just wrap the frame. <laughs> Now go go right up here in this hole, right here, this hole right there. Okay. Go right behind the shock hanger uh -huh. and wrap this. You want me to grab the frame or no? No, just wrap it. Oh, in that case, the ten footer would have been fine. Yeah, all, all I'm wanting to do is just offset when you're pulling on this. Yes, sir. It just helps uh, where you don't want to pull too hard on it, you know. All right, you ready? All right, hold up, hold up. We got to find a ratchet strap to tie that hood once we get it over a little bit. Remember, you're faster than me now. All right, with the hood shut now. Pull your wind over a little bit. What's wrong? All right, tighten on it. All right, not, that's good. Since I'm slower than you, you just try to keep up with me. Don't get ahead of me. Now 
how you look. Turn it, hope you get yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you keep the frame straight. I just don't want you when it gets to that teetering point. I, I don't want you to uh, get ahead of them in the frame. Yeah. to catch it but uh, I could have got closer but I couldn't get over the back end and and I didn't want to take that chance here she comes all right she got Yep. That's that didn't land that that, that hard as is uh Oh definitely. <laughs> hey, do you need to drag that front end over while you sitting right there? Try to drag my strap out from under here so I didn't know if you wanted to uh get it out uh off that incline or if you think you'd be out that's fine. I mean, I can drag the whole back end over. If you want to... Please subscribe, and as always, stay safe out there and catch you on the next one.